Hi, I'm Jeff Mullen, founder and CEO of Dynamics. We started Dynamics to solve some of the largest problems in payments and we have. Closed over $40 million of funding. Last round was a $35 million round, led by Bain Capital Ventures and Adams Capital Management. Our next-gen hardware and our next-gen processing impacts millions of consumers internationally. And it's said that we have the only facility in payments that actually does device design, device manufacturing, PCI compliant, network certified processing, personalization fulfillment, all under one roof. And when you can do it all under one roof, you start to see things. And it allows you to really take innovation to the next level. So two years ago, we introduced a new battery-powered card where you could change on the fly by pressing different buttons, different data stored into an EMV chip. So you could have debit credit, corporate credit, personal credit, so on and so forth. And then last year, we completely redid processing for loyalty. And instead of having a system that did uh, transactions off of statement, so you got your rewards 30 days after the fact, or transactions off of settlement, so you got your rewards 24 hours after the fact, we actually went down to auth and we provide loyalty um, on credit transactions off of the transaction data itself. So today, we're going to actually take those two technologies, combine them, and we're going to introduce two new hardware devices, two new processing devices to solve some of the largest problems in international payments. The first product we're going to introduce is the world's first multi-network card, where the consumers can select different networks on the card itself. And the first permutation of this is being used to attract high-value uh, merchants to high interchange products by reducing the interchange uh, on their rails um, in their stores. And we actually launched this product, if we can go to the overhead, about two months ago by some of the strongest brands in North America. And so this is the new Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, Tim Horton's Double Double Card. Uh, eight out of every ten cups of coffee in Canada that's sold is Tim Hortons. And there's two buttons on this card. This is the first card that actually has the Visa logo on a button to get the blue light. You press the Visa button, and now you're running a Visa applet on that EMV chip, and you're actually running, for the first time ever, a Visa applet on that contactless chip. And we actually write credit Visa data to that mag stripe. Now Dynamics then takes that transaction data and it actually performs off base real-time reward system uh, loyalty to it. So if you went into an electronics store and bought a $1,000 television set, we receive all that data instantly. We calculate your Tim Hortons value. And then before you even put your card in your pocket, we transport that to a closed network, um, alternative network product, an applet that's actually run by Tim Hortons. So while that TV is being delivered to your car, you can actually walk across the street, make a purchase in Tim Hortons and enjoy those items um, while that product's actually being delivered. Now in order to create this level of technology, we had to completely redesign the hardware in the cards. And so you can see that the entire uh, card is a device. There's over 110 components in the card. Your typical mobile phone may have 130 to 140 components. And all these black specs are chips. Um, a number of them are proprietary. It's said in some instances that our cards are actually faster than traditional cards, which cuts down merchant um, checkout times. Now, the second thing we focused on is security. This is a printed EMV image. It is not an actual chip. These eight little ovals, that's electrical uh, material that actually is tunneled into the card so we can actually communicate with chips throughout the card. And so the actual secure elements in this card on the entire other side of the card, and they're embedded in plastic. So no physical attack on the surface of this card or certain types of physical attacks cannot work with this type of device. So it's actually more secure. Additionally, in the U.S., we introduced cards that are around three-year expiration dates. Internationally, we needed more. And so we actually had to redesign the entire card to actually double the size of the battery. And so you're running on-card um, emulation of different network applets. What this is actually doing is it's attracting the largest merchants by giving them low interchange. It's attracting the largest FIs by letting them bring in consumers of those large merchants at low CPAs. And consumers absolutely love this product. They absolutely love it. And so we can also use this technology, this processing and this hardware, to really attack any problem we want to. It really is a point of sale, moment of mind share um, solution. And so one of the biggest problems we wanted to attack was international credit card fraud, 
on EMV carts. And so I'm going to show you a completely new device. This is the first time this has ever been introduced. And this is odd for a Dynamics device, because the front of it really looks like a traditional EMV product. However, when you turn it around, you can see we added a number of very straightforward, easy to understand, but very powerful technologies. And so when you turn this card on, you now have a dynamic security code for your online purchases. So in any case of a merchant breach for online transactions, that code changes every time you use it. So if someone compromises that data, they cannot use it for another online transaction. EMV cards have been waiting for this technology. Additionally, in the MagStripe, we actually add dynamic security codes in the issuer discretionary data. So the issuers actually have their own um, security codes. And so every time you swipe the card, uh, that code changes. So if this card is used in a merchant and the actual MagStripe data is breached, only the issuers with this technology um, can actually state that they've protected their consumers. Now, this technology, once again, the hardware, uh, was very difficult to do. This is the first time Dyna Dynamics has had to miniaturize the device. So we could actually add components to the top of the device and the bottom of the device. And this is going to open up an incredible new family of products from us um, as these look more like wearable devices. And what's interesting is that entire electronics package, that bottom component, that board, the chip, the attachment, the encapsulant technology, is all less than 14 thousandths of an inch thick, all of those layers. If you open up your phone, your board is thicker than that. Your chip is thicker than that. This is right on the barrier of modern electronics. And it's being produced right now in high volume um, with certain issuers. And so we have a booth right outside, and we look forward to meeting everyone and showing you all the cards. Thank you very much.